Hey guys, how you going? This is the Rugged Wombat here, playing a bit of Seven Days to Die. Now, I'm sorry I haven't released very many videos lately, but um, I should be kicking it off with this one here. Uh, I've just gotten back from holidays, so uh, yeah, I feel like throwing everything out there again. Now, uh, this is looking at one of my bases in Seven Days to Die. Just uh, checking out what I've done. This is a base that I want to uh, get raided. It's in the, uh, the center of uh, well, close to the center of the map in a server called the A server, um, an Australian server, of course. Now um, I'll be showing, well, everywhere, like what location it's in, all that, so uh, people can come raid me if they want. Uh, legit raids, not hacking raids. Bugger this, bugger that. All right. So um, now, looking at this base, uh, hopefully you can get some tips off it and all that sort of fun stuff. So uh, I've built it in a cave because. Well, it's hard to find that way. This is also a cave that didn't have any entrances or exits until we uh, we dug down um, through another cave. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit hard to find. But yes. Now, uh, in this base, uh, we have a lot of kill boxes that I've taken uh, off uh, Sable from one of his bases in the previous episodes. Now, uh, the way in is a secret way in. Bloody, um, down below the water level. Bloody hard to get to as well. So here. Here is the entrance. Underneath here, we've put a door. So that, uh, hopefully, no one can find this unless they've watched this video. So, uh, come through the main entrance. Multiple doors to get through. So, um, here is our kill box. I've taken the idea of one of Sable's bases. However, I've uh, put a twist on it. So it's in the corner. So we box them in. You know, they, the only way they can go is well, the easiest way to get out would be through these bars. But you know, uh, another thing we've added, uh, I've added myself, was the uh, the top kill box. So that if we're getting hammered down there, we can sneak up the top here, take a couple pot shots from up here. All right, we've got the uh, the go boxes here. Uh, if we need to head out and you know shoot some zombies, or if we know we're going to get raided, we've got some ammo and uh, weapons there. And these two boxes in a secure room here. These are for uh, you know items that you've raided off someone. So like, say you come back, you're just like, oh, I'm going to drop this stuff off and head off again. Well, I'll just throw them in here, shoot off again, and then. Uh, you know, sort it out when I get back and have a bit of free time. Down below here, I have my uh, another kill box, a uh, little tiny one, just in case. But um, the only the only reason you have these is for you know online raids. But um, they're just just an extra layer of defence on offline raids as well. We have our uh, storage rooms, full of all the uh, supply boxes that um, you know this will. This is all our spare stuff that we uh, don't really need, but just in case. Um, through this door, I have another little box here. I'm going to set this as my uh, my room, but um, I don't need anything too big and fancy because uh, all my main stuff is at my uh, primary base, which I'll show you in a uh, in another episode. This is my uh, I want to get raided base. <laughs> uh, so you know all your fun stuff in there. Yes, that's right. Two mining helmets. Love it. Alright, and then this here is going to be our exit way as well. However, uh, I haven't really completed this area yet. Basically, you can go down. There we go. For some reason, there is a glitch. So, at the top of the um, top of each box is a bit of air. Ah, oh, sorry. Top of the roof here is a bit of air, so you can get around. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna build like a little uh, exit through here somewhere. Not too sure where, but um, probably not gonna show that to people, just because uh, it'd be an easy exit as well, uh, easy entrance to our base as well. Sorry. All right. So once we get out of here, we've got the um, upstairs to show you, which will be our, our main sort of area. Very hard to get into, uh, especially. If you're trying to uh, get in from the outside, uh, this this main floor, because it's above the waterline. 
Now this base only requires four land claim box. So um, we went out and raided some uh, some noobs and uh, got their land claim box, so uh, which is good. And uh, yeah, so uh, basically we have uh, 14 furnaces here, and uh, we want to put uh, 14 fireplaces as well, and uh, a lot of storage boxes. Now this is mainly for uh, if we need to make a lot of iron or a lot of uh, concrete, anything like that. Um, and also, of course, um, fuel for your uh, augers and chainsaws. Now yeah, we've got our uh, patented, paint, painted, painted. Yeah. Now, of course, we've got our patented um, <laughs> water source here. So, uh, yeah, everything's painted. Painted. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> God damn it. So, uh, yeah. Okay, this is a uh, sniper Sandy's room. Uh, he's also starting up a little uh, YouTube channel, which is going to be good. Um, we've got Sable's main, uh, you know, light source up there, which is also patented. That's the one. All right, <laughs> and then we've got the uh, the sniper box. So uh, if if we know of a uh, raid that's going to happen, we can just sit up here and go, uh, oh yeah, we got ya. All right, uh, nice little fireplace and everything like that. Uh, I think uh, Snipe Sandy wants to do a lot more decorations because he likes his uh, rooms to be beautiful. So, which is good. Now, uh... Alright, the last little thing I've got to show you is outside. So, follow me. Alright. Alright. I've been playing a couple other games, um, trying to get the gist of them all. Uh, one called Star Drive 2. I want to see about uh, putting a couple of videos of that up, but not too sure when. But, uh, you know, it should be soon. Alright, so the exit, um, the easy exit, is up this way. Through a long, long tunnel. That'll pop up somewhere. Not too sure where. Um, Sniper Sandy knows the location of all that. And, uh,. I sort of know the locations of it all, but uh, I'm not too sure if I want to really show you guys, because that's an easy way in. And uh, I want you guys to find us. Find a way in. Alright, so um, basically, yeah, of course, you got you, this is the, the secondary exit. Um, the, the escape tunnel, which I'll, I'll build down the bottom there, is going to be at a, dis a different location to that. So, uh, yes. All oh, right. Du, 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 du. So that is our. Uh, this is our raided base. Our I want to get raided base. <laughs> and uh, uh, basically, mm, there we go. All right. Basically, anyone who uh, sees this video or hears us in the forges, I want to uh, get people to try and raid this base. I want to see how uh, raid resistance is, but um, also it's just a bit of fun, like um, give someone, some people something to do, so um, yeah. Alright guys, so uh, this is the base we've uh, set up near the centre of uh, center of the map, just a little bit north of it. The location of it is uh, 1008 north, 123 west on the uh, A server. Now I hope people... Uh, you know, who watch this video want to jump on, do a bit of uh, legit raids, but I um, want to try and get some more people to the server as well. We have, uh, we've got a couple of people at the moment, like, um, not at the moment, but uh, we've had 16, I think is our maximum, but um, we've got a server slot for 32. So anyone who wants to jump in and uh, and uh, play this game, I play on this server and so does um, Galagen Flagen. So, um, as you can see up here. So uh, hopefully we can get you guys along to uh, have a bit of fun. Now uh, we, I'll show you my primary base. Um, I won't show you the location of that though on um, on another episode. And uh, hopefully Glug and Flug and the Sniper Sandy will be able to put up a couple of videos of um, of their bases and that. So yeah. But I uh, hope you enjoy the episode. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe, dislike, all that fun stuff. <laughs> and I'll catch you on the next episode.
Alright guys, have a great one, and I'll see you.